Alright, hi there YouTube, it's me more Sud America. Not exactly playing on PSO2, more of me giving a commentary to one of my videos that I was supposed to place for Fantasy Star Online 2. Now this is part of the series where I took one of my characters and started leveling her up from level 1 and recording everything I did for that character. Now this one I was doing an emergency quest for, I know I did a short recording before I started this emergency quest and this was uh, Mining Defense 1 if I remember correctly but yeah at the time I was just playing it casually and I ended up recording it and my dad was actually in the room so I couldn't exactly say much however I'll be giving you guys my commentary now and yeah pretty much um, you're not gonna hear the in-game volume for it but all I'm gonna do is kind of give you guys a heads up of what I was doing in-game now uh, I realized how shitty my quality was when I was recording stuff way back then I think or maybe it was okay quality for you guys I can't tell because um, apparently I have this at 720 and apparently it doesn't look like it's in actually no it's like 1080p but I said 1080 god damn it <laughs> that should be a bit better to look at and let me get rid of this actually I want to keep it up there but I don't want it so big so I'll just keep it on the upper right so I know how long it is well technically it's 35 minutes I think I did three runs of Mining Defense 1 and yeah pretty much I also stayed in game that I can't do much because someone's in the room but then uh, I didn't realize someone actually joined in my party when I was doing this and I was just typing to myself and apparently someone joined in and I was like oh wait ooh, there is someone in there but yeah pretty much Mining Defense 1 it's not that big you only got three towers to defend or three bases to defend and they come to the blue purple or green one and you don't have AIS AIS is that giant ass mech you have but yeah mining defense one there's there's none of that uh what else but yeah pretty much this was way back then when I was still playing PSO2 uh 2000 it's in 2016 I know that but I, I just can't remember when I stopped exactly but anyways yeah I actually wanted to Record this or kind of give you guys this video before I start resuming that gameplay or that series where I take this character and show you guys what I do Way back then, but I can't remember what rules I said for myself So I had to watch my videos and kind of see what I decided to do But yeah, pretty much money defense. It's nothing that big all you do is run around kill mobs protect the bases and then get your loot on normal hard and very hard this is okay for experience but when it comes to super hard and other good stuff there are other emergency quests that kind of give a lot more benefits to it now i think they added extremely hard into this case and technically you could just run this emergency quest if you got nothing else to do but if you're looking for like the most experience you can get and stuff then mining defense 4 mining defense 3 uh, some other ones i can't remember off the top the top of my head can actually provide you with a lot more loot a lot more X XP and it's a lot better than mining defense one however if you have nothing else to do and this is an emergency quest you don't mind doing then go ahead and do it I'm doing it on my low level characters because most emergency quests will help you level no matter what now the biggest concern is you want to make sure that you progress through the arcs quest and go through coffee and stuff because if you don't exactly uh, don't exactly pay attention to it and you get too close to the level cap you might end up uh, backtracking a lot and you might be wasting some experience when you can actually use that experience to level up your main class or hopefully you you haven't mass you haven't leveled up your subclass yet and you can use the emergency quest to do that instead but yeah they added a lot of new changes into the game ever since uh, I started playing over here and yeah I'm trying to remember what I did exactly in this emergency quest all I did was try to collect as much crystals as I can and just beat up any mobs that try to attack the base that I was close to but yeah it's very very laggy I my old toaster laptop I've just ugh. It was the entire reason why I stopped playing PSO2, so 
It deleted important files too, so I just couldn't get back into the game. And yeah, I'll put the music that I used in the description below. But yeah, mining defense isn't that hard. All you had to do, if you can't do that much damage, collect crystals instead. Because when you get, uh, what is it, 5,000 crystals, you can summon a giant cannon turret. And that will be very handy when it comes to killing the mobs at the final wave. Now, if your party's party is like very very strong and don't need those cannons and you don't need to worry about it now I can't remember what I was exactly doing with my with this character in particular I know I was doing jet boots build but I might need your help or might need someone's someone help when it comes to jet boots or technically I should research it on my own time but usually I'll, I'll bother someone in game ask around and see what sort of builds I could go for be interactive in game but yeah uh, I don't think I'm very yeah I'm not used to doing a bunch of uh, photon arts with the jet boots now I could go like technique base or strike attack base but I think T attack would actually be handy to me and I don't have a lot of characters with T attack anyway so it's another character I can make because I have two force techers, but one of them is dark and light, and then my f I think it's dark and light. I, I can't remember what I did for those two characters too. That means I had to look into the skill, skill, tr skill tree. Yeah. But yeah, ever since I left the game, I haven't touched this character in any way whatsoever. Did I actually record the? No, I don't think I even unlocked Zig's client orders for her. But yeah, I'll continue recording everything I do for this character. Like, I, I really haven't touched this character in a long while. Like, six months? Or more? But yeah. Oh yeah, when you do emergency quests when you're, uh... When you're at a beginning level, you may want to try to get experience boosters. I think one of my conditions was like, don't use the shared storage as much. Because I noticed in the bottom left, like where my name is, there's no boost icon telling me I used a booster. But yeah, then mobs appear over there. And then I ended up only grabbing a few of them because I wasn't quick to grab the the two-legged humanoid darkers that just ran past me or sprinted past me. But yeah, you want to be careful when that happens. You kind of want to spread yourself out, especially in mining defense, so you can quickly respond to something. Because the higher the difficulty, the more damage those guys can do to the base. Now, since I'm playing on hard, I think, yeah, it's, it should be hard because I'm level 22 and you can't exactly play hard unless you, you hit level 20 and you have the hard license client order unlocked from coffee. But yeah, I'm, I don't have that much good gear because, like I said, I think I limited myself to using whatever this character picks up reason why I don't exactly have a 13 star yet <laughs> you could you could have a 13 star on a low level character as long as they meet the requirements for the 13 star usually techers and f techers forest and maybe bouncers they can easily equip their 13 star because yeah they I mean a lot of classes can do that too I think but yeah it's, it's just that I remember like a bunch of forest users are able to equip their 13 stars because they just put a lot of points into their uh, technique attack boost stat and it just yeah pretty much it's kind of like broken because low level characters have 13 stars holy shit <laughs> but yeah that's the benefit of having multiple characters and one of them being really up there that's why I stress that if you're gonna play this game make sure you at least have one character maxed out or like at the highest level that it can be but yeah, I'm just restricting myself though for the sake of this series. But I might make some changes here and there. Not a lot of big changes though.
But yeah, pretty much I know that I couldn't do much damage in this. I, I could at least aggro them as long as I could hit them. But I ended up just collecting a bunch for all three of my rounds for Mining Defense 1. And yeah, if you collect a lot of crystals too, that will actually skew your rating. So even though you didn't fight any of the mobs or you didn't kill anything, you grabbing a bunch of crystals can get you up on the scoreboard. So yeah, I'm just going to stay quiet now because I don't think I have a lot to talk about. Like during the time I was recording this too, I didn't say much as well because my dad was in the room. But yeah, as you can see, Mr. Beto, and I forgot his name, Vibris? V-I-B-R-A, Vibri. And yeah, this guy, he's very easy to sort of kill. Uh, all you need to know is know where his weak spots are and just make sure you aim and aim at that weak spot But yeah, pretty much mining the mining defense one only has five waves wasn't paying attention uh, but Yeah, it's not a lot of waves compared to like mining defense three or mining defense Actually, Mining Defense 1, 2, and 4 should have the same amount of waves. I think 6 waves? Or... I'm trying to remember. I think Mining Defense 1 and 2 have the same amount of waves. Mining Defense 4 has 1 wave to it, so it's like waves... They have wave 6. And then, uh... Yeah, I just forgot a lot of things, actually, <laughs> when it comes to playing PSO2. Hopefully, like, the second run, you'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, you're not going to get a lot of good loot when it comes to uh, doing normal and hard. I mean, you'll see a bunch of rare weapons you may want to pick up, especially if you're trying to uh, get a bunch of desynthesized items so you can do Zig's client orders. But it's pretty straightforward when it comes to mining defense. And apparently I was called Crystal Collector. And I forgot what rank I was, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, pretty much once you're done, you, you can just uh, spam over and over again. And if you do have some party members, I suggest that if you're not talking to them and stuff, ask if they are ready, because you don't want to restart when they're picking up loot and then yeah Th that goes the same when it comes to going into high difficulties because there is a chance for 13 stars to drop and if you restart on them when they're getting 13 stars that's kind of a dick move and that's kind of bad and yeah pretty much it'll be pissed off with you so make sure you're conscious of your other party members and always ask them especially if you're party leader now if you're not party leader they should be able to do the same deal with you ask if everyone's ready or just get into the camp ship before they restart it and sometimes they don't exactly ask that like in an elder emergency quest when you just spam arms in the beginning phase they won't ask you if you're ready and whatnot because they're trying to get experience and that's what the first phase of arms does give you experience the loot comes in phase two where you fight against a big big older boss but yeah there are some cases where they don't exactly ask if you're ready and whatnot if it's if the emergency quest is strictly used for experience for example they're not gonna ask if you're ready now you should be a little bit more conscious of this when you're at lower at lower levels because you know new players don't know much about the game or if you do know a lot about the game then uh, then you should be able to tell your party leader if you want to restart and whatnot but yeah pretty much you be conscious of your party members sometimes when it comes to mining defense one though it's not that big of a deal if you grab the loot in and such it might be a big deal on extremely hard because 13 stars do have a chance to drop along with some other good loot as well but at lower levels especially when it comes to very hard and below it's not that big now if you want to get some x cubes and some experience then well if you're trying to get experience the most half of the time you want to spam 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 until like the time is done but yeah
and pretty much we begin to wait as well because sometimes you have to wait especially if you're at lower blocks um, if there's not a lot of po people in your block then yeah there's not a lot of MPAs running that means you have to wait till some other people do stuff but yeah I might need to redesign Death Heart I don't know I'm, I'm debating about a lot of stuff right now just looking at her I mean I do like her physique that she has but I'm um, if I want to the hairstyle is going to be the expensive part if you play fantasy star online 2 you got a female character hairstyles will be expensive as fuck especially if you're on ship 2 and I'm on ship 2 yeah and also this issue right here of waiting can also determine how many runs you can get in now with most of the time people can do four runs unless it states otherwise like if it specifically states that you can only run this quest an X amount of time then you can only run it an X amount of time this is a good example for progeny of the apocalypse uh, mother emergency quests older and losers no well, not older and loser uh, mining defense is it mining defense? I can't remember if there is one for that, but there's also something I got to, and apparently someone's calling on the phone, so I'll be right back. And I am back. And yeah, I was just uh, telling the guy why we were ra why we were waiting, because usually a lot of people would do emergency quests at higher levels. Sometimes people do it to level up their characters, but yeah, depends on how many people are running. And at the time when I was playing this, hard blocks were like dead. So there weren't a lot of people running it. Yeah, I, I was typing all that stuff and kind of explaining that. Pretty much what I said. And I bet that person says hi in Japanese if I remember correctly. Yeah. I, I do know some of the Japanese words that people text sometimes, even though I don't speak Japanese, but yeah. After playing this game for like a few years or months, well yeah, it's a few years, um, you get used to seeing some basic words here and there. Yeah, then I ended up saying that this is my 10th character to level up. Which is a pain in the butt to do, because leveling up from 1 to max level is always going to be hard. And then the biggest issue is, right now, currently, in PSO2, there's certain requirements to actually get to the next level cap, which will be 80, and we'll get that around mid-February. But, yeah, I'm kind of pissy about the fact that, uh, they're adding a lot of requirements to PSO2, well in-game requirements like to go to the expert blocks. Um, you need to actually complete like heaven and hell the first five stages and then you have to grab the title then you can go into HR extremely hard blocks. Now a friend of mine told me that uh, I was supposed to go through like 1 through 10 and 1 through 5 was easy for me as a braver. 6 through 10 was hell. Well. Stage six, seven, in six, seven, eight, and nine. They were easy. I breezed through that. Ten was the part where I call it hell because I had to kill. Well, one, I, I had to fight against the, some of the Ark's uh, NPCs like Huey and some other guys. But the biggest issue was after I killed those guys, I had to fucking kill uh, 
Anga and Dio Hunar? Dio Hunar. And I don't know why I'm having a hard time saying Hunar. But yeah, that was not fun. Because if you don't kill Anga quickly, Dio Hunar will pop up and he'll gang rape you with uh, Anga. And the biggest issue is Anga revives twice. Luckily, he does not nerf your weapons, but in, in the extremely hard uh, stages for Heaven and Hell. But yeah, just fighting against those two at the same time was a pain in my ass. And I was very lucky to actually pass stage 10. And I had to use a lot of resources just so I could stay alive. Oh my god, that, that was hell. Everything else was easy, but that, that in itself was hell. And that was actually an adrenaline rush for me, but I might try to show that later. Maybe. I don't think I can redo the same shit unless I got new equipment for my Braver, but yeah. And that was saying some stuff. And people are slowly joining into the MPA. Yeah, it gets really tedious. If you have multiple characters, you have to do everything over and over again. Unlock all the CEOs, get your free skill point CEOs, um, had to give them new gear if you don't have hand-me-downs. Uh, what else do you need to do? You have to get the mining of fishing up now, you had to give them rings, you have to... Yeah, There's a bunch of tedious stuff you have to do for a new character, but it's... It's like an in an investment. You level them up, you give them better gear, that means they can do a lot more work. They can give you gold, they can give you more meseta, more character storage, and other good stuff. And I made a video talking about how, talking about the pros and cons of uh, making multiple characters, but I will redo those videos because they're very old. And it's a bunch of old footage anyways, and I might as well stick with the better quality, especially because I have a new laptop now. But that's going to take a while in, to make it in itself. Oh yeah, me and this guy were just chatting about stuff here and there. Which I didn't mind. Big shout out to uh, that dude. I don't know if you're going to be watching this video and whatnot, but yeah. Oh yeah. I don't think episode 4 storyline is translated yet, so if I plan to do storyline, I'll be going from episode 1 through 3, and you'll see most of the translated stuff. If I get to start in episode 4, that's questionable, especially if you can't read what's being said. Unless you're Japanese, or if you can read Japanese, then yeah, you, you'll be fine. Uh, let me I might cut this video short I think we only did two runs because we were waiting forever apparently just to do our second run and most likely it's due to the fact that in the hard block that I was in we only had a uh, one MPA running I guess or two MPAs running and then one of them would get full then the other one would get I, I have no clue <laughs> But yeah, it took a while. And I decided to look at his information anyways. Oh, oh yeah, there's a rem right there, right. Rai zero. Re zero, Rai zero. That was actually a good show. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything about. Whoa. Oh, oh, Rem's right there anyway, so yeah. Oh, I decided to change outfits to. into Neptunia's outfit. I need to see how much that costs. I might sell it. And I apparently decided to make the chat box smaller. And apparently it looks like I was lagging, or it's just that my video quality was lagging. Or when I was recording it was lagging in, in itself. I think this is the only... 
Okay, I'm gonna skip around because pretty much this is the same basis where I just run around, collect crystals, kill stuff, and just protect these bases, mining defense one. And then. Okay, so I was wrong. Mining defense one and mining defense two actually has six waves. The same goes with mining defense four. The only exception to the mining defenses is mining defense three. Because in total it has eight waves, I think, or seven waves. No, no, eight. I'm leaning on eight. But yeah. And usually there's, um, if you watch other gameplay videos, it kind of shows you guys what bosses will spawn and what mobs will be going here and there. It's the same goes for Mighty Defense 4. There is, uh, like, Mighty Defense. Mining Defense 3 and 4 you need to be careful of because you have AISs and those things are really strong. So you want to make sure you don't exactly have a bunch of AISs in one wave. You want to spread it out and that's why you want to kind of communicate with your MPA. Now when it comes to Mining Defense 1 and 2, collecting crystals is kind of important. Especially, especially if you go to the higher levels if you don't have enough DPS to kill the mobs and stuff. But yeah pretty much uh it's not that stressful in mining defense one and two compared to three and four three and four you need to be very 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 commutative or like you just need to talk to the other party members this is why like team organizations for mpas is kind of up there you don't want to get a screw up on mining defense three and four and i heard that mining defense five might be coming out soon but yeah pretty much uh yeah, killing mobs. We only got two runs in apparently. And yeah, make sure you also use your resources. Make sure you use your barriers. Um, get rid of the pimples that go onto the bases. Use the barriers to stop mobs from attacking it. It freezes them. And that gives time for people to quickly respond to that. Like how I do it on the screen right now. It freezes them up. It doesn't. The base itself doesn't take damage while it's f using a barrier. But yeah, as you can see, everyone was able to catch up and we killed them all. Pretty simple. And that's pretty much it for mining defense. And make sure you grab your loot if you're new. But if you're not new and you don't exactly need this loot, then you can de just ignore it. I would personally take it still even if I'm a high level character. Because I can use these items to desynthesize and just stock up on crafting items. But yeah, after you're done with this Mining Defense 1 dealio, for example, um, make sure you also give everyone a good job as well so you can get some fun points. But that's all for this video. This is, I think, episode 5 or 6 of my leveling up uh, Death Heart from 1 to max level. And when level 80 kicks in, this is going to be a little bit difficult for me to get. But yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll have video outros on the screen right now to get to the previous ones. But I'll see you guys around. Peace.